Avago has uh, two distinct functions in Penang. One is uh, product development, R&D, marketing, sales, everything. You know, the whole product line is in Penang, right? The whole P&L, management and so on. And then the second item is really supply chain. We, are, we run a worldwide supply chain for those operations out of Penang. Now, part of our product portfolio, you know, the couple of very interesting ones in my view is uh, we are in every cell phone almost, literally. Uh, if you look at smartphones, we're in uh, literally almost every smartphone in the world today. Uh, we're very much into the 4G LTE with our uh, power amplifiers, with our filter technology. Um, we enable that space uh, pretty much. And uh, we are also in the uh, very famous uh, tablets and so on uh, as well. Uh, those are also using our 4G and 3G technology. So without us enabling that technology, you wouldn't have the you know, fidelity quality of uh, you know, high, defi high definition uh, sound and uh, music and all those good stuff, right? We're very involved with CRAS, and uh, I have a very personal involvement with CRAS. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we really pushed the idea from the very beginning. We've uh, consistently said that CRAS is an industry-led uh, effort, not mm -hmm. a government effort yeah. uh, per se. Yep. So I believe that CRAS and the development of CRAS and the projects that we are driving will eventually spawn an ecosystem of engineers, uh, masters, PhDs, mm -hmm. uh, could eventually become uh, companies, right, from those technologies. So it is in the beginning stage. Beginning, yeah. Uh, we're working very hard. Uh, as I told Chris, uh, it is only going to be successful if we achieve real results from the projects that we are driving. Yeah, yeah. We, we can't just have projects. We no, need no, no. results yeah. and needs to be very, very tangible results. Mm -hmm. And that's one of our battle cry from the industry. Mm -hmm. The second, which is also a subject that I've touched with many people, both in government, in private industry mm -hmm. and so on. And I think Jeffrey and I also talk about, I truly believe that if Malaysia is to rise, to the higher income society. Okay. And if we are going to attract more of our brains that is leaving Malaysia to go to other places, yep. we really, really need a, vent a very a thriving venture capital uh, environment. Okay. Where bright young people can see a future where they can really develop companies and motivate them by uh, enabling them to be big time CEOs and earn very, very significant incomes, right? Mm -hmm. We are working with CRAS basically to develop very, very significant R&D um, and with the help of the government and the funding and so on, plus the industry's uh, you know, equal funding in that area, we hope to develop differentiating technology. Those technology are basically also to assist Avago. It's yeah. not differentiating technology which does not exist, uh, Avago. Yeah. Uh, we hope that we have many projects that usually cannot get funded internally because there are usually more projects than you can have R&D oh, funds. Okay, okay. However, they are very significant. Mm -hmm. And we hope that uh, as we grow and really be successful in these areas, we will then move into more fundamental technology where we can uh, essentially have a birth of new venture companies, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we're not at that stage yet. That would be the second stage of what I see happening. The first stage is really proving the system, you know, the networking that we are doing and, yep. uh, and also looking for the talent, mm -hmm. right? So once that all comes into place, mm -hmm. I would think that phase three, phase two, phase three, we could get to some of those fundamental technologies that eventually will grow Malaysian companies. So that's what we hope to do. Okay.